Good morning. Um, I'm Jane Hebert White, executive publisher of Health Affairs, and it's my true privilege to be here with all of you today. Health Affairs, as you heard, uh, published its first ever cluster of papers on jails and health for the jail-involved population. I've been at Health Affairs over 30 years, and in that time, uh, I, I look, in fact, I even did a scan, because I didn't trust my memory, to see how many times we've actually referred to jails in the pages of Health Affairs. And, and, and we did refer to it, but primarily in mental health papers, uh, in passing. And so it, it is time to focus attention on this population, and we're very pleased to do so, working with Steve Rosenberg of Coaches, with uh, funding support from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and Nancy Behrend. And uh, due to uh, some communication uh, snafu here, the issues are actually not physically here, but we will be sending an email out to everybody who's attending and make sure if you would like a copy, you may get a copy. Um, I, I love this theme of connectivity and health reform. Health Affairs is all about connectivity as a peer-reviewed journal that is at the intersection of health, healthcare, and policy. We aim to bridge the gap between, or uh, bridge communities, break down silos between policymakers in whatever level of government, be it local, state, federal, uh, international. Uh, we work with academics in multiple fields, whether it's law, economics, political science, healthcare policy, medicine, nursing. We also work with uh, people and are read by people in industry, so providers of healthcare, systems of healthcare, uh, makers of devices and technology, and now I'm pleased to say also uh, people involved in the justice community. So again, my welcome to the event, uh, gratitude for being part of this uh, publication, this opportunity, and uh, thank you.